Okay, all right. I know it was shown uh, some time ago, uh, a few weeks ago, on the New York Toy Fair, but now we have the official pictures on the minifigure store.uk. They first shown the actual pictures of the minifigure series 20, uh, the 10th anniversary of the collectible minifigure series, which was awesome. You guys probably have seen a lot of the coverage of the New York Toy Fair. Beyond the Brick did an awesome video on site showcasing those minifigures all closed up. And also Brothers Brick was there and a few other people to something about as well. So if you want to check those videos, I'm going to leave all the links below. They did have a, have a hands-on experience about those minifigures, but at least now I would like to talk about them having the pictures in front of me. So let's dive into it. By the way, this series comes out on May 1st this year, so not that far off. Uh, this is the packaging pretty much it goes in sort of a silver finish because i guess the silver is the 10th anniversary color one of the minifigures actually does have a tile we're gonna see it the packaging looks like this there are 16 minifigures to collect starting off in no particular order we have the space fan and the athlete i have to focus on the space fan for a second here because that cap has to be sort of a spacex homage the logo is very familiar and that girl being a space fan, it ha she has to be a fan of Elon Musk. So, connects to me very very well. Also the awesome uh, classic Space Explorer uh, set on the shirt, some patches on the denim jeans, and you can see the NASA logo as well on the rocket and plans for the next Starship from Elon on the pl printed uh, 2x3 tile. The athlete um, has a new element of the gold medal, uh, a disc to throw and a quick quite rare javelin in white plus dual molded legs you can see some sort of a logo maybe patagonia or something like that some homage to an outdoor sports company for sure maybe adidas i don't know dual molded legs on that one and prints all over the place so very cool this one will be a fan favorite the drone boy with a brand new dgi drone mold it's gotta be the phantom um, with a gimbal with a camera on it, so that's pretty awesome. And a new printed tile, a curved tile for the controller. Uh, he has a really nice um, little patch on the face. Maybe the drone hit him when he was while he was practicing. That logo on the shirt, um, T series or Tesla? I don't know. The logo is 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 kind of like a, must be an Easter egg of sorts. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty cool. Uh, there's the cap on him as well. This azure color and the 80s musician comes with a brand new element of the uh, keyboard guitar, which is a very 80s thing to have. Uh, logo on the shirt uh, with uh, thunder on it. Maybe that's ACDC. No, I'm I'm probably going too far. Cool pink pink uh, trousers and a really cool hair mold and a very expressive face, so I like this guy a lot, both are great. The green brick suit guy would be very special because, well, he's green, obviously, but also we have a silver tile with a number 10 on it, uh, resembling the... commemorating the 10th anniversary of the collectible minifigures. Uh, nice, cheerful face, and also the llama suit girl uh, comes with a great llama head mold and just a carrot, so a great addition to the um, costume, animal costume characters. Um, in the Lego lineup. Those are always very popular. Next one up is the martial arts boy with the uh, new element of nunchucks. I think that is a single mold with that chain and the uh, black buttons dual molded, I believe. I don't think there will be like detachable. Really cool print for his face with the bandana on, on, the, on the forehead and uh, a nice uh, martial arts outfit overall. Uh, the break dancer, uh, I think she gets a new mold with the cap and the hair. Uh, molded together. I think I've seen something similar in the hidden side minifigures. Maybe that's just a recap of that kind of element. And she comes with some also cool print overall for her breakdancer break dancer outfit. And first time ever the beatbox in this um, teal color, which is awesome. Another great costume added to the collection, the Peapod costume, and that girl even has the green lipstick to go with the color. Uh, she also comes with an apple. Great mold, uh, overall very unique. And the Sea Rescuer, uh, uh, like a scuba diver, uh, has a brand new turtle dual molded element, which is amazing. I think we're just expanding uh, single element animals in LEGO. A lot of them are appearing in the Friends line, but now we're getting a lot of them in the collectible minifigure series. And he also comes with a piece of a seaweed, I believe. And not, nothing very special about this character, except for a turtle, because the mask um, the diving mask and the um, uh, overall outfit seem very familiar. Here we have Piñata Boy and Pajama Girl. 
Pinata Boy comes with a pinata, first time ever, a really cool uh, mold with a uh, print on it. I can see Fortnite fans going crazy over it. He has also a very uh, Mexican outfit with that, with a sombrero and a really cool piece of clothing to go with that. And the girl has a uh, first time ever, I believe, a stuffed bunny uh, that kids just gonna love. And she comes with a very nice hair mold and a pyjama covered with bunnies, because why not? Here we have the Power Ranger. I mean, the, it's Super Warrior, that's the official name. Totally a Power Ranger. And a Tournament Knight. Power Ranger, a Super uh, Fighter, Super Warrior, uh, has, I think, a Ninjago Blade. I think I've seen that element quite a few times in Ninjago. Really cool mask, uh, Power Ranger mask, and very cool sci-fi 80s uh, costume overall. So basically it's gonna be also a fan favorite, I believe. And the Knight uh, comes with a very well-known uh, piece of a uh, shield that I've seen, we've seen before in the Knights era of Lego and overall great mold with a helmet and a sword. So not very unique, but still we've been waiting so long to have anything Knights related in Lego that I think people will go crazy over this guy. And last but not least, we have some historical minifigures of the Viking and the pirate girl. The Viking comes with a great print for his shield, round shield, dual molded spear, a great molded helmet with a beard attached to it. So overall very accurate. He also gets a cape. And the pirate girl has a very cool face expression, uh, classic piratey, and I think actually dual molded with a hair for her, um, her um, head element, and also a very decent print. So historically speaking, those are great. And again, last but not the least. I think that's gonna be one of the strongest series when it comes to classic non-licensed Lego minifigures overall. Uh, always fan favorites are appearing in those series and this one has a bunch of them. I think my favorite will be the Drone Boy, um, that uh, Super Warrior, that, that um, Power Ranger minifigure will be pretty awesome. And some great elements like that Turtle, um, oh the Space Fan, the SpaceX Girl. That's gonna be awesome, at least for me, I'm a big fan of, of, uh, of anything space related right now and that's just minifigure will be just... I'm gonna switch ahead with a male head and it's gonna be me, basically. Alright guys, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. I also want to give a shout out to my Patreon. Woo! You're here on the screen, awesome guys. Thank you so much for your support. If you want to support me on Patreon, there's a link below among other links. You can always like or dislike this video. You can always subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for my new uh, commentary like this videos or reviews of sets like this one. This one's coming next, by the way. And all the things that I do here on this channel to basically have you entertained. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.